Hello guys. Um welcome back. This is Captain Mal. So um I would like to do a video on my plugins and my Xplain 11 settings. So I got a lot of questions about what what plugins do I use? What add-ons do do I use? Sorry guys. What, what add-ons do I use? Um and so forth. So in this video I will show you guys what I use for my explain 11 alright so okay guys so now I'm in my explain main folder my hard drive sorry for my explain 11 folder alright just gonna enlarge this so we're gonna take a look in my folder I'm gonna show you my add-ons I'm gonna show you everything that I use to make my explain look amazing and I'll provide links in the description for you guys they're all free except for um x vision and some other stuff yeah so i use the first one that i want to show is my um my plugins right so if i go to my explain 11 folder my main folder and i go to resources and um plugins you will see all the plugins that i use at the moment okay i use squat box for um for VATSIM, I use FS F X P U I P C for like flying for virtual airlines and so forth. And the terrain radar is actually for um the Zebo mod for the Zebo mod, and it it actually works for uh, other aircrafts. Um, I use Sim Sam, which is the um jetway for the airports and I use I think this one is related to this one I'm not sure but yeah this is all that these two are all standard explain comes with explain um ground handling from dry designs are very good add-on I gotta pay for it fly with Lula and go into it and my scripts these are all the things that I use but these ones are disabled because I'm using X um X vision, right? So my true haze, true lights, true shade, true waves, they are all good add-ons and as you can see these are disabled, right? Um I I did use X realistic, X P realistic, but I stopped using it. Um and now and now I use X um visibility. It helps with the clouds and um helps to with the haze it helps with, it helps with the the haze of the airport of the when you're climbing when you're transitioning to other stuff to the sky right and i'll provide a link for everything as i said before um this this is what makes my sim looks amazing all right this is the heart of it this is the x vision right and we'll get into that in a bit it's a preset and um better pushback is the next add-on that i use i loved i love using it <laughs> it's what pushes back my aircraft from the gate and everything it is amazing if you don't have it you should get it it's free of cost everything avi tablet it av tablet comes with the zero mod actually you have to download it i'll provide a link for it in the in the description box below and if we go into to it these are all my flights that I did earlier um, prior to when I started live streaming so these are all the flights right these have like my fuel balance every single thing it's not just charts can go into it fuel balance every single thing can go into it the auto gate is what I use for um for instance um, once you once the aircraft loads up the auto gate lit just connects to the aircraft right and once you hit the pushback, it pushes, it goes back, and the aircraft size pushes pushback. All right, it's a nice add-on to get, and this is just Active Sky, um, connect. Uh, this is just Active Sky. This is for Active Sky because I have Active Sky. So we're gonna go back out. Um, and I also use Reshade. Now Reshade makes my sim come come to life. 
these are all my um they're not all mine but um these are all the presets that i use yes all the presets that i use and i'll provide a link in the description for it for them okay everything I, like i said will be in the description below right and uh, let's let's show you the x version now this is what i use this is the main thing that makes my sim comes to life okay x vision is the best at the moment right it, it's like tomato shade for p3d it's you have to pay for it i bought this a long time ago when i like i first got explained i bought like a couple months after and this is where it wanders for me okay i'll provide a link for it and everything in the description but let's let's just open it for a sec okay we open it this is what you get this is what you get all right you open it and you have all the shaders everything is everything is gonna be in it okay but I'll do another video on X vision in if you guys request it okay so yeah um I use ortho for XP. I'll do another video on ortho for XP. Um, this is just where I download things in and don't pay no mind. And this is my Active Sky. So I use Active Sky. This is one of my add ons and I love this thing. Okay, it it gives me real time weather. It helps with the clouds textures, but if I use dead clouds then I lose performance a lot, so I don't use it. I'm trying to get another um another cloud to get it into the sim because some of my clouds are not showing properly into the sim so if it's raining you'll see the sun is shining and, and that is not the correct form that it should be in so yeah um, and for Artho I have apply decals it's free but I'll do another video on that for you guys okay We're using uh, I'll do a video using Arthur for XP and apply decals okay it's the best it's one of the best ways both of them works together make the scene look look amazing okay that's how I can put it all right that is the things that I use at the moment okay so um we're gonna go into X plane and I'm gonna show you guys my settings all right so all right click so welcome back we're in explain we're gonna go to settings all right this is my explain settings I'm gonna explain why everything is like this okay for me my graphics card is a 1060 at 3 gigabytes right and I overclocked it just a little bit with the normal normal um, with the normal voltage and everything okay just to give me a little extra push in you know trying to, to get a little bit more frames so um my visual effects is at high okay i cannot put it on on um hdmi or ssao to match my can if i do that then my with for my computer it's not gonna it, i'm gonna lose some fps but if you have a, a better computer sure if you have a stronger graphics card then sure put it up there texture quality I have it to high I can't put I for me for my computer I cannot put it higher so I cannot put it on maximum I cannot put it on maximum no compression I never tried no compression but I'll try it in, try it in a different video see how it goes my anti-aliasing is two times SSA plus FXAA those are my anti-aliasing um settings my um my draw shadow is off my number of air of number of world objects is on high right if you put us the higher you put a slider the more fps you will lose this for me is a big big frame hitter which is reflection detail okay the higher it goes the more fps you will lose if I put this uh, right now, I would say I'll be getting like 40 FPS in the sim. If I put it on reflection low, I will lose a lot of frames. Like 10 frames or 10 frames per second, I will lose. Right? 
and to me FPS is more is important okay um, yeah and these are my my lateral view lateral field of view is 70 I have vsync off and I don't have any of these programs here so I use them off and these are my settings um, generally yeah you can customize my settings if you guys want it gives me the best FPS I need to fly and that is what I want so yeah so now I also have another so we're gonna go today we're gonna head to the Nvidia control panel right this is my Nvidia control panel settings okay I use advanced 3D test settings and it's clearly on quality right um, I go to manage 3D settings and I go to um, program settings so I go to program settings and I put it on explain 11 okay that's that's what I do and um, I got these settings from uh, Q pilot Q8 pilot which surprisingly it works amazing with my sim okay um, you put the um, so we're gonna go from the top the anti aliasing FX AA is on um, max perform power management is preferred maximum performance texture filtering is on um, Optimization is on off texture filtering negative LOD BIOS is on allow texture filtering quality is on high texture filtering trip trainer optimization is on and updated optimization is off okay these settings work perfectly for me all right um, I love these settings so but if I get a stronger graphics card like sometime in the next next year or so forth then I will um, push push my push the settings up a little bit and get more and better performance okay so those are my Nvidia control panel settings okay and that's that's it for now um I don't I don't know if I I don't I think I covered everything that I need to cover um, everything that I need to cover thank you guys for watching if you guys have any more um, any more questions just ask the questions and I'll answer the questions as best as I can right um, don't don't be afraid to ask questions I'm here I will help I like helping others you know I want you guys to achieve the best looking sim just like I do um, you know and so forth so all the links in the description are gonna be towards everything that I use in this in this um in the flight in the sim to make my sim looking beautiful as it is okay thank you guys for watching I am Captain Mal and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out have a good day